What's up, everyone? Aaron Nagler here for PackersNews.com, live on Facebook late in the day on Monday. Just heard from Mike McCarthy. Nothing earth-shattering, of course, but uh, he did speak. The Packers are coming off their first victory in several weeks. Thought I'd jump on here and see what's on your minds, everyone. Uh, big day for the Packers. Big win yesterday down there in Chicago. Um, as Duncan points out, 2-2 two and two in the division, 5-4 and four on the season. Anything is possible. Justin, how are you? Thanks for joining us. Hi from North Hudson. Hello, Mike. How are you? Clean shaven? Yeah, you bet. I told you guys once they won. Amanda, hi. Thanks for joining us. Stephanie, hello. Uh, so, I thought, <laughs> Duncan, yes, the beard is gone. Uh, Lyle, hello. How are you? <laughs> yes, a live one and I've shaved. That's right. So, like I said, I thought I'd jump on and see what's on your minds. Um... Only bits of news coming out of the uh, presser. Mike McCarthy confirmed reports that Aaron Jones will be out multiple weeks. He, of course, did not confirm the nature of the injury, though several uh, several outlets reported that it was an MCL injury that Jones suffered. Um, so he'll be out for a while. Uh, Kevin King is indeed dealing with a shoulder injury. Mike McCarthy was very cagey when asked about it. Uh, that's one to watch for when the injury report comes out on Wednesday. And then Ty Montgomery is going to be working and rehabbing, obviously, all week. Uh, McCarthy seems to think he has a chance. I would be very surprised if he goes on Sunday against the Ravens. I would look for Jamal Williams to be your lead back and Devontae Mays to get some action for the first, significant action for the first time this season. How am I feeling after last night, Julian? I'm all right. I'm a bit tired, to say the least. Uh... Well, that win shows how bad the Bears are. I would agree with that. Um, uh, they were not well coached in that game. They did not play well. Um, you know, the Packers didn't dominate them by any stretch of the imagination, but I think the Packers were the better team. No doubt about that. Oh, Greg. Uh, it was nice to see you. met my father. Love the doors. New back. Well... I broke my, uh, the, it's a long story, but I broke my tripod last night, so i got to get a new attachment for it to use to hold up the phone. So right now, uh, I am using my countertop, my top of my dresser and a book to hold up my phone while I talk to you fine folks. When's Rashi coming back? There you go. Devontae looking like Hunley's favorite receiver. Yeah, Matt, I don't think there's any question about that. Clearly some familiarity there it does seem to favor him. Um, but you know, look, I, I think Devonte would have been the number one this year, regardless. I said that in training camp, it sure was kind of looking that way. I think Jordy Nelson is, um, still a very talented receiver. He just doesn't have the burst he used to after the injury a couple years ago. And, uh, you know, they're trying to use him in the slot more. He's doing a lot of different things, but he's never going to be, uh, the number one, I think, uh, as long as Hundley's under center. Um... What kind of compensatory pick will we get back from Marty B? Well, because they cut him before week 10, uh, they will be in line to receive a fifth round comp pick, for, which essentially will be for the loss of Micah Hyde, uh, which would have been negated had Bennett been on the roster week 10. So that's what they get. <laughs> Is this World Cup talk in my comments section? I love it. Do you think Aaron Rodgers will be back this year? James, I keep being asked that question. I'm going to keep saying the same answer. No, I don't. I don't think he'll be back this year. I understand why people are hopeful, but uh, I'll be very surprised if he is, even though, regardless of what the Packers' record is. Do you think Rodgers is going to leave Green Bay after this year? No, he won't. He still has two years left in his deal, and despite what you may have heard on a radio station somewhere or read on the Internet, he cannot opt out of his contract. I cannot enunciate or announce this any clearer than I am right now. Aaron Rodgers cannot opt out of his contract this summer. He has two years left on his deal. In fact, I am pretty sure, I'd say around 85% certainty, that Aaron Rodgers will be signing an extension this offseason. So enough with the Aaron Rodgers leaving anytime soon. Are you going on the injury report? Uh, Duncan, no. I got I banged up my knee and my, my hands are a little scraped up. But other than that, I'm all right. Hope you're all right after what happened in Chicago. Alex, thank you. Um, for anyone who doesn't know, didn't follow me on Twitter, 
I did get jumped last night by a band of hooligans. Um, I will say it was a little scary. I was walking down Lakeshore Drive, a bit of a dark bit after the museum, heading back into uh, you know downtown proper. And uh, I got tackled from behind. Kids took my phone. You know, it was it was a little scary. I was a little shooken up afterwards, I gotta admit. But uh, I'm all right. And they just got a phone that I got to I turned off almost immediately anyway because I had my other phone in my pocket, unbeknownst to them. So yeah, it's uh, it's kind of ridiculous. And I've never been mugged or attacked or anything like that. Uh, and I've lived in New York City for almost 20 years. Go to Chicago and boom. And I lived in Chicago for five years. It never happened. So. First time for everything. Uh, is Jerry Jones the new Al Davis? No, Andy, I, you know, there was something about Al Davis that was somewhat noble. Now, I know he was a renegade and his fellow owners hated him at times, uh, much like a lot of them are hating on Jerry Jones at the moment. Uh, but Davis was doing stuff, um, you know, that I thought was in, a, in the interest of bringing the league forward. Whereas with Jones, it sure feels like it's, Retribu attempted retribution for the fact that his player has been disciplined. And I'm sorry, Jerry, you signed on to the CBA just like everybody else. Uh, let's see what else we got. Wow, sorry to hear that. Yeah, everyone's sorry for if you hadn't heard, that's what happened last night. It's no big deal. Aaron got a good six six or seven years left in him. Yeah, I, I would absolutely agree. I think Rodgers can play well into his you know early 40s, just like Brady is. Um, you know, that's... I think that's entirely possible. And I think most of, if not all of that, will happen in Green Bay. <laughs> was I wearing any Packers gear when I got jumped? No. Uh, I was talking on my phone to my wife, and I had just hung up with her, and I was uh, put on my headphones to listen to music. That was my mistake. Any potential free agency for next year on the radar that Ted needs to consider? Ha, 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 yeah, right. <laughs> nice sarcasm there. Um, way too early. I haven't really looked at it at all. Um, ask me again towards the end of the season, or even after the season. How long will Jones be out? Daryl, the reports are anywhere from four to six weeks. Uh, we'll see. Uh, I would suspect, I would go towards the longer end of that. I mean, you never really know, but MCLs, you know, so it depends on the tear and depends on exactly what's, you know, how, what, how severe the damage is. Uh, guys have played two or three weeks after injuring their MCL, and some guys have taken like a month and a half. So uh, it'll really depend on how it uh, how it shakes out. If Jones and Ty are out, who would be the backup running back? That would be Devontae Mays. He was uh, inactive on Sunday. He was their seventh-round pick. Uh, he's a really, really tough runner. Uh, you guys saw what Jamal Williams did last week. Uh, Mays is a, a bigger battering ram than, than Williams is. So they would actually they would have a thunder-and-thunder thunder partnership in the backfield on Sunday. Uh, did Aaron Rodgers work with Brett Hundley on looking to his left? Uh, no, uh, I'm sure Alex Van Pelt may have, but Aaron Rodgers isn't sitting there coaching up Brett Hundley. Any further word on Ty's ribs? Uh, nothing definitive and nothing official, but McCarthy did say uh, a little bit ago that he will be working, trying to work through it this week, and he says Ty has a chance to play on Sunday. I'm dubious as to whether that will actually happen. Do you expect Williams to get more carries even if Montgomery can go? Uh, I do probably, Ricky. I mean, you know, if a guy is deemed ready to go, McCarthy said this so many times, if you're good to go, you, you know, you're going to you're not going to be treated with kicked gloves. You're, if you're an, uh, able to you know, work between the white lines, then they'll use their normal game plan, whatever that may be. I'll take I'll take one or two more here. How many more games do we think we will win? I have no idea. Let's just get to Sunday against Baltimore, shall we? Ravens' run game is their only strength. I'll tell you what, absolutely, the way Joel Flacco has played this year, he has been downright horrible. Um, now, some of that obviously is the offensive line. Some of it is on the receiving core. But Flacco has been very, very bad. Will Mays be brought in? I would think so, yeah, definitely. How do you like Hundley's development? Yeah, it's, uh, slowly but surely. Um, I thought he really took a big step in the fourth quarter. Um, I know it's funny because you read the headlines and you read some of the coverage or you look at some of the coverage nationally especially, and it's, oh, you know, Brett Hundley took a big step. Well, the first three quarters of that game were not pretty for Brett Hundley. Um, he really turned it on in the fourth quarter. Now, the question is, can he come out firing like that? Because he's he's played well in spurts before, especially at the end of halves. 
Um, the Packers need him from the get-go, from the opening kickoff. Uh, but yeah, that fourth quarter, he was lights out. <laughs> Figure out special teams, no doubt. Uh, McCarthy mentioned that today, where he said in the traje- usually the, traje- the trajectory of their seasons, the special teams play starts to improve around you know the halfway point and improves down the stretch because these guys that are playing special teams are all very young. You know, the Packers always have one of the youngest rosters. Uh, they're always mixing guys in and out, uh, somewhat due to injury, somewhat due to youth. Um, so you would hope some of that would get cleaned up. But at this point, I mean, it's almost like every single return there's a penalty. And that's lots of young guys making that happen, whether it's Pipkins, uh, you know, whether it's Hawkins. You know, these young players are the ones committing the penalties. So for the most part, not always, obviously. But you know, right now, I think that's something the Packers are just going to live with. Fourth quarter is a good time to get hot. Casey, you got that right. As long as you're within striking distance. Uh, Trevor Davis was impressive on returns. I think he he's got a got he's got a knack for returns, and I think he's pretty good. But wow, his awareness, man, from you know taking punts at the five to I mean, heck, he outdid himself this week, fielding a punt in the end zone and then bringing it out. That's got to stop. Ever seen a, someone p- field a punt in his, in his own end zone? No, I, I haven't. And we had. It, the second after it happened, we all asked ourselves in the press box, have you ever seen that before? I don't recall ever seeing that in an NFL game. The snap on the last field goal was horrible. I don't think it was horrible. It was off a little bit, but the, you, still, you know, if Vogel's able to get it in his hands, he's got to be able to put it down. I mean, I, I don't put that on the snapper. Nick Perry was a monster against the Bears. Kenny, I absolutely agree. Uh, now, some of that was coverage. Um... You know, and some of that was rookie quarterback not having a great play clock in his head. Um, but I thought he played a very good game, and he did keep up pursuit, and he obviously had three sacks, which is uh, one less than he's had all season. So, you know, it was a promising development from from Nick Perry, no doubt. All right, everyone, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to jump. Uh, I'll be back on Wednesday when the Packers start practicing again. We'll have our first injury report of the week. Um, I'm off tomorrow here on Facebook, but we never take off at PackersNews.com, so make sure you're checking for all the latest. We'll have everything from the game, looking forward to the Ravens, everything in between. Thanks a lot, everyone. Have a good night.